Drawing this realistic match in Procreate is easier than you think, and if you follow this tutorial step by step, I promise you, you can draw this. Before you start drawing, please download the color palette, link is in the description. And now, grab your drawing tools and let's start! Let's make a new canvas, A for canvas from Procreate. And here is a color palette, but first we are going to take black color, just like that, and drag and drop it to the first layer. Now we can open the layers and make a new layer to start drawing our match. We will start with that wooden part. So let's take color for this, this first one in line. And now let's go to the brushes, go to calligraphy and pick monoline. My brush size will be 32%. And I'm going to draw a straight line going down like this. I'm holding my pencil on the screen and I'm putting my finger on the screen to make this vertical. Now here on the top let's make a line going to the right. And now another straight line going down. Let's color this inside. And I don't want this match to be so straight. I'm just going to draw over the lines now like this, over the edges, to make it a little bit wobbly. Okay, now we are going to create a side for this match. To do that let's make a new layer. And we want to draw something that will be visible only on the area of the layer that's underneath it. So I have to set this layer to clipping mask. Let's change the color. Take this second one here. And let's draw a line somewhere around here going down. It doesn't have to be straight. And now let's close this shape like this, even we don't see it, I'm closing this. So now I can just color this inside. Now we have to change the blending mode of this to make it look like this side is in the shadow. So let's stop here and let's pick multiply. We can turn down the opacity of this. Let's make it 26%. Now we are going to add here some wood texture. Let's make a new layer for this. Let's set it to clipping mask. And now let's change the color. Let's take the third one in line. And let's pick a brush. Let's go to materials and pick black wood. My brush says it will be 15%. And I'm just going to cover this whole match like this. We can change the blending mode of this. Let's set this to multiply and turn down the opacity to 25%. Let's add one more wood texture. Make a new layer for this. Let's set it to clipping mask. And we can change the brush. Let's go to textures and pick wood. With the brush size 60%, we can draw all over the match again. And again, we can change the blending mode of this. Set it to multiply and turn down the opacity to 66%. Now we can start drawing the head of the match. Let's make a new layer for this. Change the color to this one. The second one in a line. And because this is dark color and our background is already dark, First I'm going to turn off that first layer, so we can actually see what we are going to draw. Let's change the brush, let's go back to monoline brush. And here we can draw a wobbly shape like this. Make sure that it will go on the part of the wood too. Let's make the top more uneven, something like this. And now we can color this inside. Maybe let's make the bottom also more uneven. Something like that. And now we are going to add some texture there and light. 
Let's make a new layer for this. Set it to a clipping mask. Change the color to this one now. We are going to start with drawing some red part on that match's head at the bottom of it, where it's burning. Let's change the brush for this. Let's go to charcoals and pick vine charcoal. My brush says he will be 7%. And we can draw a bit a little bit at the bottom on that match's head. Now let's change the color. Let's take this light brown one here. And let's change the brush. Let's take burnt tree from charcoals. And my brush size will be 8%. And I'm going to start drawing with it on top of that match's head. I will go down to a little bit, but I will try to make the top brighter. Okay, let's take another color. Next one in line. Let's make the brush size even smaller, 5% and draw a bit on top and the left side here, like this. Now we can bring back here some darker color. So let's take it, let's take this one here. And we can just darken a few spots on the match's head. So it will look like this. Now we can use the eraser tool to change the shape of this head a little bit, make it more uneven. Let's tap on it again and set it to burn tree. Let's make the brush size 3%. And let's go back to the layer of that shape, so this one here. And we can just raise a little bit on the edges of that shape. Okay, let's go back to the top layer and make a new layer above it, so we can start drawing the flame. We can bring back our background color now, so let's stop here. And now let's pick the color. Let's start with this vibrant blue one. Now we have to change the brush. Let's go to airbrushing and pick medium brush. Make the brush size 5%. And we can draw here a shape like this, kind of like a teardrop, and color this inside. It is bigger than the match's head. Now let's change the color. Take the next one in line, darker blue. And draw it on the edges and at the bottom of that shape, something like this. Just don't draw on the top of it. This will be good like this. And now we can take the next coloring line, this purple one. And let's make the brush size smaller, 3%. And draw on the edge of that shape, at the bottom and on the side, like this. And now we are going to erase some of it, so we can see that matches head. So let's take the eraser, tap on it again, and let's go to airbrushing and pick soft brush. Make the brush size 9% and slowly and gently erase that part at the bottom here so we can see the match's head. If you're enjoying this video so far and would like to draw more of me, check out my Patreon where I have more tutorials like this. Link is in the description. So let's keep erasing that flame at the bottom here. And now we want to make this more even, softer, we are going to blur this. Let's go to the adjustments, pick Gaussian Blur, swipe your pencil and screen to the blur size, and let's make it 8%. Now we can make new layer on top of this one, 
to add some more colors to this flame. So let's change the color. Let's take this yellow one here. We will still use the medium brush. Let's make the brush size 6% and draw a shape like this on top of that blue one. Make it go a little bit higher and don't cover that space that we just erased. Okay, now let's take another color, next one in line, this red one. And with the smaller brush, 4%, we are going to draw on the edges of that shape, on the sides of it, don't draw on top. Okay, this is how it looks now. And again, we can take the razor and we can erase the bottom part a little bit. Okay, we can blur this also a little bit. So let's go here and take the Gaussian Blur. And here let's make the blur size 9%. We are going to add here some more colors to this flame. Let's make a new layer for this. Change the color to the next line line. Still using the medium brush. And let's make the brush size 6%. And draw a bit a shape on top of that yellow one. Let's make it a little bit higher and make sure we will not cover that red part. We want to see this. So this is how it looks now. Now we can make the brush size smaller, 3%. And we can draw a bit lower, like that. Extend this shape here. And now let's change the color to this very bright one here. And draw a bit in the middle of that yellow shape. So now that we have something like this, we are going to blur this. Again, let's go to the adjustments, pick Gaussian Blur, and here let's make the blur size 15%. Now I see I covered too much of that blue and purple color, I'm going to bring it back. Let's open the layers, tap on this layer here, with the blue flame, and we can use the arrow tool to make this a little bit bigger. At the bottom I have uniform option selected and snapping turned on. Okay, now we can add some more shine to this red part, make it look like it's burning. So we have to make a new layer under the layer with the flame. Let's take this red color here. And with the brush size 2%, we can draw on top of this red shape here. Something like this. It doesn't have to be anything precise. We are going to change the blending mode of this layer to make it glow. Let's set this to add. And let's turn down the opacity to 66%. To make it more even, we are going to use the Gaussian Blur. Let's make it 7%. Now we can maybe make this head a little bit darker here at the bottom. So let's go to this layer of the texture for it. Change the color to this one here. We can use this medium brush. Let's make the brush size 5% and draw it lightly at the bottom part of that head. Okay, now we can add some shadow to the wood part of the match. So let's go to this layer here with the texture for it and make a new layer above it. Set it to clipping mask. Let's change the color, take this one here, and with the brush size 7%, we can draw it on this side, a little bit like that. 
Now we can change the bending of this. Let's set this to multiply. And turn down the opacity to 77%. Now, I just want to make this much lower on my canvas. I want to move it lower. So I'm going to select all of the layers. I'm swiping on them to the right. I'm not going to select the background color. And I will take the arrow tool and move it down a little bit like this. And now this illustration is finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please share your drawing with me on my Instagram. I would love to see it. And now I have a special shout out to my big fan Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for being there with me and supporting me. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!